Hey everybody, it's my name is Pauline. Today we are doing swatches of the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Stockpile, which is 30 of 100 shades that they have for the Vice collection. I do want to get more of these in the future, just because I have a feeling I'm going to love all of these. Urban Decay is cruelty free, and this is a limited thing they released for um, holiday seasons. And yeah, so this retails at $325 at Ulta. I'll put a link down below for this, but I also have a full on review of this stockpile in my blog, which will be up in the eye over there and in the comment, the comments in the description. So this is all the lovely shades you get. All 30 of them is a lipstick and my vice. And you can use this tray to put other bullets of lipsticks in. Each lipstick, I'll stick one of them up now here, has the color on the very bottom. That kind of looks similar-ish to what the end result should be. They all look very nice. I like them. Packaging glass is awesome. I cannot wait to get into this. I've been wanting my hands on these since they reformulated and redid the bullets. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start in this ugly stockpile this way going down to here. So top to bottom. I'll just set this shelving view that I have next to me. Alright, so the very first shade we have here, I do have what they described each one of them on is going to be Sismatic. This is going to be a sheer shimmer, which is supposed to be a plum purple with a red shimmer. So let's open this up. This would probably be a go-to fall shade. I'm just going to scooch my mirror closer to me here. And let's get into it. This is a really pretty shade. I would definitely wear this throughout fall. It's definitely what I would do. So let's take this off, put the next one on. We have Pandemonium, which is this bullet right here. This one is a mega matte bright purple. I don't know how often I would honestly wear this shade, but it does look really pretty. So let's put it on and see how it looks. I really could see myself actually wearing the shade, which is weird because I normally don't ever see myself wearing the shade purple. But this shade, I give a thumbs up. It looks really nice. So I take this off and I'll put on the next one. Next we have Firebird, which is a cream and it is deep fuchsia. That's pretty in the two. Let's see how it looks on. And yes, that last one did stain my lips a little bit, I noticed. But that doesn't bother me. It don't bother some people. So if you don't like stains, that won't bother you a lot. I like this shade. I actually didn't think I would. So I kinda actually do kinda like this shade. This shade quite a lot. So Alright, just because I knew my lips are kinda stained. I don't want them to be super stained during these things. I took a view blender. It's not clean. And I went over my lips just one time. Just that way we can kind of mute out some of the stain. Alright, next up, anyways, we have After Dark, which is Comfort Matte. And this one is a medium dark berry pink. It looks literally that way. It's the what everything is. So I don't forget. So this one is After Dark. And this one, just based off the description, I think will be my favorite. Of like this like top row. Oh yeah, I can see myself wearing this every day. So this is After Dark. I take this one off. I do really love this one. I like the pigmentation, it, like they're the same throughout based off of what style they are. But none of them are patchy so far that I've noticed. So let's go to the next one and see if that's still the case. 
All right, the next lipstick, the next lipstick stick, the next lipstick shade is Fair Sweet, which is a bright pink purple, and it is another comfort matte. Let's go. Kind of like this. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Ooh. I think I want more wear it towards the spring rather than in the winter, which is what we currently are at in Minnesota. So, more of a spring shade, but I do like it. So, let's take this off and go to the next one. My lips are starting to feel a little dead here, but where you go, we got a lot more shades. So, next up we have Psycho, which is another comfort matte. This one is a bright rose with an iridescent blue micro glitter. Micro, micro sparkle, not glitter, sparkle. Looks red. Don't, don't see much bright rose, unless they're referring to like a red rose. So let's put this on and see how it looks. I'm curious about that blue micro glitter. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I really like it. I don't think you guys can see the blue um, micro sparkle in here, but it is really pretty. I think I just found my Christmas shade for the year. So I'm gonna take this one off and go on to the next one because we still got the whole thing to go through. <laughs> All right, next up we have Menace, which is a comfort matte in medium fuchsia, fuchsia pink. Oh yeah, that's pink. I don't know how often I honestly wear this color because I'm not a huge pink fan, but it's gorgeous, so. Yay, next shade. All right, the last shade of the top row is Sheer Anarchy, which is a sheer formula and fuchsia. This will probably be my least favorite shade because I'm not a huge pink fan. But it's sheer, so maybe maybe that'll be your redeeming factor. So let's see here. I actually kinda really like this one. Not like as much as I like the previous ones, but like I like it more than I thought I would like it in a way. I don't know why I'm putting more on because I really don't need any more. But there's Sean okay. To the next shard. Why am I doing my voice? On to row number two, which it looks like it is mainly reds. Some red tones. Which are gonna be my favorite. So I'm excited. But before we get into the reds, we gotta finish up with the pinks. So this one is Big Bang, which is a metallicized <laughs> So before we get into the reds, we have to finish up with the pinks. So this one is Big Bang, which is the metallicized, metallicized formula. And this one is a bright pink sparkle. Looks a little something, something like this. I never saw this. It has an Urban Decay laser on to it, which, or just a UD on it. Let's put this on. Ooh, I like the shimmer. Ooh. So, Psycho is my Christmas color, Big Bang is my New Year's color. Because this is just. Gorgeous! Alright, let's take this off and then we'll get into the reds. Alright, the first red it is a bright red in the Mega Mac formula and it's called 714, like the area code. It looks something like this in the two. Yeah, on lips. That's a little something something like this. Oh, 
I really like this shade. I love red, so I'm very excited about this row. Yay! The shade! Alright, next up we have F Bomb, which is your classic red in the cream formula. Ooh. So this is what F Bomb looks like on my lips. Uh, this will probably be the shade that I wear pretty much every day to work. So let's get into some of the more darker tones, shall we? To start off the deeper shades, we have Gash, which is a dark red with a total shimmer, and this is also in the cream formula. Ooh, I can see the tall ship. Ooh, I like that. I like this one. Might, this one might be a yeah, pop. This is my fall shade. How about that? That, that works better. So this is what Gash looks like, which I really enjoy. So let's go into the next shade. To the next shade. To, to, to the next shade. <laughs> Alright, next we have Rock Steady, which is another cream. And this is a deep wine red. And you know how the last one I said might be my fall shade? This one might replace that. Because I'm a, I'm a sucker for a deep wine red. <laughs> yep. This one's got me sold. Ta-da! I'm really in love with this shade. This shade is the bomb. Not the F bomb. But pretty rock steady. I will see myself out now. See myself out. Toodles. I like. Be in more shades. I totally just lost where my blender is. So I can't get rid of the stains completely. And my makeup wipes aren't the greatest. So what's we'll to deal with that? And I apologize. Alright, next we have Manic which is another cream. This is a soft wine color. So let's see. Manic, which I really enjoy. Like, really, really, really enjoy. So let's head to the next shade. Alright, next we have Disturbed, which is a deep brick red, and this is in Comfort Matte formula. That looks very dark in the tube. Ooh. I like this one just like I like all the others in the red family. This one is another Bob Dog Cobb one. Let's go to the last one in the red family and the last one of the second row, and they'll go on to third. Alright, the next shade is called Easy, which is in the cream formula, and this is a bright red orange. I really love all the reds that I got on this. Next, we're moving on to pinks slash nudes in the third and fourth row. So, let's get into those. All right, next shade that we have is Snitch, which is a pale coral pink. And this is in the sheer formula. And while I was taking off the last thing, I found my beauty blender. Pixie ate it. Thanks, Pop. And let's put on the stitch. Ooh. 
Ah, I really like this shade. This reminds me of a lip gloss that I have. So, another one for the books. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, next is Conspiracy, which is another metallicized shade. And this one is described as a plum brown shimmer. Looks pretty. Okay, so it's very picked out. Christmas and New Year's. This will be Thanksgiving. I guess. Because this has to be worn on holiday. I think we're on a holiday, but I'll wear it for Thanksgiving, so I'm going to. Alright, next up we have Weirdo, which is a cream formulation for a pale baby pink. So let's see how this looks on the lips. It's a more nude for me, but it's a gorgeous baby pink. Love it! Moving on! Alright, next up we have Rapture, which is also a cream formulation. And this one is described as a dusty rose. Looks like this one too. And like this, on the lips which I really like. So let's go to the next one. Oh, let's are killing me. Alright, next we have Amulet, which is a metallicized, metallicized color, and this is a metallic brick rose. There are so many that are worse every day, and this is one of them. Let's go to the next one! Alright, let's use some lip scrub from Lush. Hey, Santa. This year is called Santa Babies, which I really like. So my lips feel, my lips feel rejuvenated. Next, we're going to ZZ, which is the cream formula, and this is a soft pink purple. Stuff something like this. I wonder if it's gonna look anything like what was that one? It was a while ago, what was it? I don't remember. There's one I felt like was like similar to this. So let's try ZZ. That is really pretty. Alright, and where do we have? Almost there. We're almost through all of them. Yay! I'd love to be so happy. Alright, next up we have Naked, which is a sheer color. No, this is a cream. Yeah, this is a cream and it's a nude pink. Sorry, look at the line next below it. <laughs> oh, it's the same color as my lips. That's why I can't see it. Ha ha ha, it's nude. Well, I shouldn't do it anyways. Ta da! Alright, the last shade in the third row, before we go to the fourth row, is this one, which is called Sheer Liar. It's also a, this one is a nude pink, this one's a pink nude. And this is the Sheer Formula. Oh, come here. Fixie dogs. It's like something like a little something, something like this. Now let's go on to the fourth and final row. Yes. Next up we have back talk, which <laughs> Close it, I Next up, we have Back Talk, which is a comfort mat in mauve nude pink. Which looks something, something like this, which I really like. 
let's continue on with the final row. Next we have another comfort mat. This one is called Heartless, which is a baby pink. I'm not sure how often I actually wear this color, but I do like it. A few more left. Next we have another metallicized color. This one is called Trance, which is a nude mauve shimmer. I know I said Big Bang was my New Year's color, but this might replace it. Because I really like this shade. So you guys know what you think I should do for New Year's. Big Bang or Trance. Next one! The next shade we have is Insanity, which is a oh, soft warm nude in the cream formula. I can definitely see myself wearing this quite often. Alright, two warm shades! Two months! Next we have another comfort app. This one is a light nude and it's called Stark Nude. Let's say it was a Stark Nude and then it's called Stark Nude. It's called Stark Nude and it's a light nude in the comfort mat formula. I really like that. It's definitely my skin tone nude. For sure. But someone with darker skin tone, this wouldn't really be nude for them. This would just be a really light color. But, I do like it. So, to the final shade. To the final shade. Final shade. Alright, the final shade that we have is another metallicized color. This one is called Gubby and it is a frosted light pink. I really like this shade. Actually, I like pretty much every shade that was in this collection. So, well, not the collection, I'm trying to the entire collection. Well, I tried the stockpile. So, I've liked it. If you guys like it, just be a big old pause up. Subscribe to join the Bugsy family, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye!